you're at the high nibble for the more significant bits. In the previous video, we looked at entering a test program through the MSA 8080 front panel. This time, we'll look at running CPM 2.2, which is going to require having a connected terminal. I'm using my MacBook Pro with the terminal connected to the USB for access to the UART on the ESP32 microcontroller. We have a serial terminal hooked up to the IMSA 8080. We'll go through the uh, reset sequence that the ESP32 displays. The text in green is the preamble that the microcontroller puts out. But when we power the MC8080 on, then we see the output from the Z80 pack MC Sim simulator. So you'll see it's booting in 8080 mode, uh, CPU speed is at 2 megahertz, and there's 64K of available RAM. There's a lot of detail here, and I'll go into more of that detail in a later video. If we start the CPU, it will go and enter in at the bootloader and boot CPM. You'll notice that the CPM is configured for 54K. That's to avoid any collisions with the boot ROM. We'll do a few familiar commands in CPM. And again, there's a lot of detail being shown here that we can go into in a later video. If we switch to another disk where we have WordStar loaded, we can run a familiar CPM application, WordStar 3. And we'll open up the sample document. Scroll around a little. And exit from the document. Changing back to the boot disk, you can see this is a fairly standard CPM image. Uh, this was set up as part of the Z80 pack distribution of the MSA SIM. Well, that's all I wanted to look at in this video. Uh, we'll be back with more details later. If you want to follow this series, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell to, be, to receive notifications of when the next video comes out. Otherwise, you can visit me on thehighnibble.com or follow on Twitter at thehighnibble.